Hello, welcome all. Welcome in another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So in our previous video, we discussed about code signing in ElectronJS. And before we deploy our ElectronJS application, we need to do one more step that is nothing but notarization. So notarization is going to be a last step before we deploy our ElectronJS application. So now let's try to understand what is notarization and how it works. So let's start with what is notarization. So this is the definition that I got from the internet and it says if a document is notarized, it means it is signed by a notary public office. And we do so because we want to make that document official or illegal. So this diagram is perfect real life example of notarization. So let's say if some person X is living in a rented house and now he wants to apply for passport okay. now obviously passport office will ask him to provide his address proof so now since he is living in a rented house he needs to provide his rental agreement so you can see this is the copy of rental agreement now if he provide rental agreement without notarization that will not be considered as the legal proof because it is not notarized there will be one public authorized notary office that will take care of authorization that will take care of this entire process in this case government of India will verify this document and then only that person will be able to provide this document as a legal proof for his address since the government of India is involved in this entire process they will have their public notary office and this person has to go in that office and he needs to get that document verified from the from there so this is the real life example all right so now in our case the document will be our created electron js desktop application and the notary public office or you can see the authorized person or the authorized organization who will verify whether this document is authentic or not that will be our operating system so let's say if we are creating application for windows operating system then we need to notarize our application from the windows and if we are creating application for the mac operating system we need to notarize application for the mac operating system all right so every single operating system so every operating system is providing their own way of notarization so we'll see how to notarize our electron just application for the mac operating system all right so now the question is why why are we notarizing our application and what's the difference between notarized application and non-notarized application so if you are using mac operating system you might have observed this type of error if you download any application from unauthentic sources so mac operating system always pops up this type of warning messages and it says this application is not from the authorized source and if you are creating desktop application for, for the business perspective this doesn't looks good right although mac operating system provides two options for the user either it can proceed further or it can or it can stop the launching of that application but but generally if users see such warnings they will hesitate to start or launch that application as long as they don't know anything about the application right so we need to always code sign and we need to always notarize our application in order to avoid such warnings from the mac operating system and this is the most often reason why developers notarize their application all right so let's move on and understand how we can notarize our application so now there are multiple ways through which we can notarize our application the way which i prefer is to run this command okay and this command is not doing any magic it is just grabbing values from the registry and it will ask you to provide your build which you want to notarize and then just have to run this command in your terminal in your mac terminal to be specific and you need to wait this entire command to get complete now this command upload your upload your document into apple server and then apple do their own stuff on that build and once the command completed and everything go well and even if something went wrong you will receive mail from the apple saying whether your application is successfully notarized and if it is notarized you will receive mail saying 
your application is successfully notarized and if something went wrong it will say your application notarization failed and along okay and along with that it will provide your bundle identifier and the request identifier so you will not require this so often but this will be a proof that your application is notarized successfully i hope you have understood this entire video if you have any questions queries or confusions you can ask me in the comments and i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye